UN and the Zoom H5, this is the video for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through a bunch of different recordings from each of these devices. I'll start out with a baseline of a recording taken from my camera's internal microphone. But then we're gonna include recordings taken with the Zoom H2N with both sets of microphones, the XY microphone and the MS microphone. We'll also take recordings with the Zoom H5 with the capsule that comes with the unit which is called the XYH5, an XY microphone. The recordings we'll take with these two units will be on a tabletop close to the speaker and mounted on the camera about eight to 10 feet away. I'm also gonna include some recordings taken with a lavalier mic. Um, if you'd like to follow along with this comparison blind so that you're not biasing your opinion based on knowing what the recorder is, what you should do is minimize this window now. I won't give away any spoilers about what recorder you're hearing in the audio, um, but you will be able to tell what recorder I'm using if you look at the video. I'll be back at the end with some conclusions, but I hope you find this interesting. 7723. About 40 years ago, I was taking a long trip on foot over mountain heights, quite unknown to tourists. In that region, in that ancient region where the Alps thrust down into Provence, all, all this at the time I embarked upon my long walk through these deserted regions was barren and colorless land. Nothing grew there but wild lavender. This is 7468. Years afterward, Giano recalled the turning point in his life, that moment in the afternoon of December 20th, 1911, when he could spare enough pennies to purchase the cheapest book he could find. It turned out to be a copy of Virgil's poems. He never forgot that first flush of his own creative energy. My heart soared. This is 3367. There he began thrusting his iron rod into the earth, making a hole in which he planted an acorn. Then he refilled the hole. He was planting oak trees. I asked him if the land belonged to him. He answered, no. Did he know whose it was? He did not. He supposed it was community property or perhaps belonged to people who cared nothing about it. 8925. The oaks of 1910 were then 10 years old and taller than either of us. It was an impressive spectacle. I was literally speechless and as he did not talk, we spent the whole day walking in silence through his forest. In three sections, it measured 11 kilometers in length and three kilometers at its greatest width. When you remembered that all this had sprung from the hands and soul of just one man, you understood that men could be as effectual as God in other realms than that of destruction. This is 4623. Years afterward, Giona recalled the turning point in his life that moment in the afternoon of December 20th, 1911, when he could spare enough pennies to purchase the cheapest book he could find. It turned out to be a copy of Virgil's poems. He never forgot that first flush of his own creative energy. My heart soared. 7845. In 1935, a whole delegation came from the government to examine the natural forest. There was a high official from the Forest Service, a deputy, technicians. There was a great deal of ineffectual talk. It was decided that something must be done, and fortunately, nothing was done except the only helpful thing. The whole forest was placed under the protection of the state, and charcoal burning was prohibited. This is 8725. That was the whole of our conversation. When he had set aside a large enough pile of good acorns, he counted them out by tens, meanwhile eliminating, eliminating the small ones or those which were slightly cracked, for now he examined them more closely. When he had thus selected 100 perfect acorns, he stopped and we went to bed. 1065. Before leaving, my friend simply made a brief suggestion about certain species of trees that the soil here seemed particularly suited for. He did not force the point, for the very good reason, he told me later, that Bouffier knows more about it than I do. 2863. 
During his lifetime, Jean Giano, who considered himself to be Italian and provincial, in addition to French, was judged one of the greatest writers of our age by such authorities as Henri Pierre and André Malraux. Both Pierre and Malraux ranked Giono first or second in French 20th century literature. So I'm sure you could hear that both of these microphones are a nice big upgrade from your camera's internal audio. If you haven't picked up a dedicated field recorder or at least a lavalier mic, you should definitely make that investment and get a much better audio quality out of your videos. Um, between these two, I would say that both of them sounded very, very good in this tabletop scenario, and both of them sounded very, very good with the lavalier mic. I would say that they're a bit better than the camera's internal microphone uh, when mounted eight to 10 feet away from the speaker, but that's really not an ideal recording scenario. A big part of what you're gonna get by investing in one of these two field recorders is just gonna be able to get that flexibility to put a high quality microphone close to your speaker. That's really gonna be the best way to keep your gain at a level that you don't get flooded by reverb or ambient noise. The real way to make a choice between these recorders, I would say, is not gonna be based on audio quality in these particular scenarios. It's gonna be based on the features that you need. Most importantly, it's gonna be based on, do you need to plug in have four different inputs for four different speakers? Are you gonna to need to use XLR inputs for a dedicated mic like a Shure SM58? Are you gonna be trying to record uh, live music or a band and you want a very high degree of control over your mix levels of different instruments? If the, if the answer to any of those questions was yes, you're probably gonna to wanna to jump for the H5 or maybe even the H6. But if any answer to those questions was all no, and it's mostly gonna be for YouTube uh, and for simple um, product videos or home rec family recordings, and you don't want the complexity of setting up you know, four mics, you don't picture yourself doing that, something like the Zoom H2N or the Zoom H1 is probably gonna be a much better choice for you. There's definitely not a reason to make the jump just based on the audio quality in this simple scenario. It is almost impossible, at least to my ears, to tell the difference between a recording made on a tabletop position and a good recording environment with this little guy and this big, more expensive guy. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please do follow a link from the description to help support my channel. And if you're looking for a different audio comparison, please do check my channel. I've got a bunch of videos comparing these field recorders and we'll be looking at more than just audio. We'll also be looking at features, build quality, and other aspects.